So I was in the kitchen today and I look over at the clock and it was 11, 11 and I'm like, oh, ain't that nice. And suddenly it was like as if I was in a vacuum tube or something. And uh, I walked over to, um, I have a candle going and I'm looking at that candle and uh, as I'm staring at the candle, it's like pull cards collective. And I'm like, okay. And then it was very interesting, and as I explain each, I only have four decks of cards, actually five, um, and as I was pulling, each deck did something different to give the card that they <laughs> wanted. So, okay, I'm pulling out a, um, a, a an explanation manual real quick. Hold on. Okay, so this read is completely up for interpretation, and it goes, uh, you know, whenever I do things like this, it's multi-level you can what I say here could apply lightly and then more can come through just by the images on the cards or the words or what I say in between so just take what you know resonates and leave what doesn't so the first card that um, I pulled was optimism and so the message was so this this what the whole thing was pull for the so as I was shuffling it's like, okay, you're going to be pulling very minimal, like one card, maybe the most two for the collective. This has to do with the heart chakra, with love, with um, uh, this feels like this is a message for the ones who are already in service and who are already kind of in position where they're um, um, figuring out their, their places and they're almost there. So... Right, the first one here is optimism, and it was like, it says, I create good things to happen, and they do. And so I feel like this is uh, just a uh, confirmation of where we're at, right? If we keep our flow in a positive, then, we f then it just keeps flowing positive. Even if bumps in the road come... Um, you know, like we just recently had some silly thing happen in the house here that in the past would have thrown me for a loop and I just quietly let things slide by, right? Like we're in the water, just floating along. And because when a situation happens, it's happened. Now all we can do is recovery from it or fallout or you know making sure it doesn't happen again or just with grace and ease moving into the next position of our life right so optimism all good things will keep coming you know just stay positive stay positive sometimes these little bit things like say um Let's just say you're manifesting a new car, right? Like you're like thinking to yourself, oh, I need a new car. I really need a new car. You know, and you're doing, you're going through all your processes. And then all of a sudden your junky old car, like one thing happens to it and then something else happens to it. And then all of a sudden it's not running. And then you're freaking out because you're like, oh my gosh, like I need a car and like blah, 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 blah. Well, the universe might be setting you up for, you know, a great, amazing windfall of something maybe you go then to purchase a new car and holy smokes you get a fifty thousand car dollar car for ten thousand dollars because of some crazy mishap or something you know what i mean like you never ever know what the um problems in your life are may actually just be the you know uh, stepping stones because sometimes when you're stepping on stones they kind of hurt a little bit right so the stepping stones to get to the top of the mountain kind of a thing so optimism let's stay optimistic expect the good things to happen and they do okay then the next one that came out was reconsider and why says well how the heck does that fit and it's like what well, it goes with this one everything that you do reconsider it if you are starting to feel like oh, this isn't working, or oh, this is if your heart, if you know your heart, your mind, your soul, that you're supposed to be doing something, but it's not working out, keep chugging away at it. Reconsider that, you know, maybe the things that are coming in that are, you know, um, okay, so, so let's just say, 
and, and I'm, this is talking only about, I'm not talking about like relationships that aren't working. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about our work and our path. So like, let's say um, you're a way shower and you're struggling really hard to be a, an amazing um, healer and having lots of clients and stuff and it's just not happening. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, I, maybe I shouldn't be a healer. It's like, reconsider that. No, 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 reconsider. Reconsider that maybe it's that you are just still in your time of learning. Maybe you don't really know exactly all the ins and outs of every type of healing thing you need to know, you know. Maybe you're not ripe enough, you know. Sometimes the best healers, um, you know, they, they need time to learn their bedside manners or this and that. Okay, so this is the reconsider. Not reconsider in a, in a wrong way. I think it's, this is all in positive, okay. Then next came this card for the, the dragon card of the earth and the fire dragon. Works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines. If this is time for service, when you give, you receive. And I said, boom, this is exactly what I've been thinking. That, you know, these are for the, the way showers or those that are, um, that are, they're kind of pretty sure what they're supposed to be doing, but maybe they're struggling along or something like that, you know. Um, and then when, you know, when I read that about the fifth dimensional ley lines, I heard in my head almost like we're there. So you're, it's like upkeep, we're upkeeping. And how do we upkeep our fifth dimension that we've laid? By expecting good things to happen and they do, manifesting, continuing up leveling, continuing with the high vibe. We're maintaining right now, right? We're maintaining our position in this fifth dimension. Okay, next. He does not come out too often. This is Archangel Raguel. I guess that's how you say it. That's how I say it. And it's Harmony. So I had to look him up. And I'm going to actually put the um, the uh, my books on um, underneath the video uh, with all the explanations. So you can pick out anything you want as well. But this is a warrior. You know, he's also like if you're bringing your warrior or warrioress out of you. And also... Uh, wisdom and grace to navigate with people um you know like if you're in conflicts and stuff to always know the best way to navigate harmony and holy smokes doesn't that just fit with you know us trying to keep the fifth dimension going here you know we've kind of we're anchoring it we have it here we're working with it we're keeping staying positive we're kind of warriors right now aren't we because it's very hard with all the negativity that's blasting at us Okay, so bomb. And then there's more for him, but we'll 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 get there. Okay, so and and also the message from him was I'm here to support you and I don't hear much about me out there. And so why don't you guys start using me? Because I'm really big and I'm really um able to uh be of lots of assistance. So if anybody's got a pull to uh, maybe channel him and or him her and uh, you know tap more into this being then finally were these two and it was share your wisdom now this I take as a direct message to me because I'm very shy when it comes to putting things online I don't like people to see me I don't particularly like the way I look all these things and um, somebody recently very um, um, beautiful woman she told me why aren't you doing what I'm doing and I'm like oh yeah so uh yeah you know a lot of us are we sharing our wisdom everything you know little stuff like I just learned the coolest thing the other day about silicone and it blew my mind and it was so simple and the woman that told me this I'm just like you freaking goddess I love you so much for such a simple thing you know what I mean share your wisdom don't be quiet you know what you know, and maybe what you know you may think is insignificant, but it really truly isn't, because for someone, it really means something, because for someone, maybe they think they're the only one, you know? Share your wisdom, and look through the situation. Now, look at that lavender and stuff, right? Lavender is always about calm and about comfort and relaxing and you just think of when you think of that purple lavender you know transmutation and and how it softens the mood and right so 
looking through the situation card usually is when think there's conflicts and you're supposed to be the bigger person. You're supposed to, because you know how things run and how things work, you're, when people come at you and they're just all blah, you're supposed to be like, why is this happening? What is this person trying to teach me, right? And so you're looking through the situation. You're not looking at the actual um you know, the heat of the moment or whatever, you're looking through it to see what the root of the problem is. And isn't that what the way shower does to keep yourself high vibe so that you can expect the good things happen and they will, and we can keep the high vibe 5D ley lines going and we, you know, our warrior selves sharing our wisdom. I mean, this is a great cut together read for anyone you know this is this is all about like where we need to be sharing and mm, just keep going it's it's a message of hope really right so anyway um takeaway is archangel raguel if anybody wants to do anything with him one more little tidbit um, I was told to say this, reconsider what you're thinking, it's not always bad. That's what this card means. Reconsider what you're thinking, it's not always bad. Not that, you know, reconsider what you're doing because blah, 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 blah. No, reconsider what you're thinking. So, like, if, you're a, if your mind is swaying to the negative or to naysay or whatever, no, 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 reconsider that. That's what this one means. Okay.